look at that. Isn't that a great layout? You son of a gun. This campaign is no good. No good. Darren and Larry, the original Mad Men on Bewitched. Want more of me? Me? Go to MeTVFresno.com for schedules, information on your favorite shows, videos, pictures, and more. Go to MeTVFresno.com today. Exclusively brought to you by Ventura TV. Hi, I'm John Mallison. Welcome to Connect With Me here live on Comcast Channel 187 and 43.6. Today, the focus on business, we're going to go south in the South Valley. We're going to go to Visalia. Well, actually, we're not going to go there, but someone from Visalia is going to be in the studio talking about Visalia and downtown. The Visalia Chamber of Commerce, the man who heads it, is our guest today, 265-4331. Back in a moment. Welcome back to the show with a focus today, of course, is on business. You know, one of these days we will take our show on the road, but for now we're not going to take it south. Uh, we asked him to come here, talking about Glenn Morris. He's the head of the Chamber of Commerce down in Visalia. You might recall when we first started the show, we actually invited uh, Al Smith to be one of our first guests here last year on Connect With Me. A great guy. Of course, he was the head of KMJ Radio for many, many years. Then he went into retirement, and then he figured out that retirement wasn't all what it was cracked up to be. And so he uh, took over the Chamber of Commerce here in the city of Fresno. But I do want to take you south uh, video-wise. I want to show you the Chamber of Commerce building down in Visalia. It's an absolutely gorgeous facility built uh, about five years ago, actually maybe a little longer, maybe six or seven, at a cost of $1.5 million. It sits at the corner of Santa Fe and Oak, 6,900 square feet. There is some of the members uh, that belong to the uh, Chamber of Commerce in Visalia with a ribbon-cutting ribbon event. That's the inside of the chamber. The building last year itself was sold for over a million dollars, so in effect, the chamber took a little bit of a loss on that. They are now renting it from the city of Visalia. Five people are on staff. They have a salesperson, a project director. Their membership is down. We'll talk to the man in charge about that. They have about 700 members. Another ribbon cutting event right there, but that building is absolutely beautiful to say the least. But the economy the last four years has been on the downside. Is it on the way up? Live in our studio right now is Glenn Morris. He is the president and the CEO of the Visalia Chamber of Commerce. If you want to talk to Glenn, call in, ask the question, 265-4331. We'll talk to him about downtown business. We'll talk to him about the baseball team and the Fox Theater. was brought up at the city council meeting last night. A historical landmark, is it not? Yes, it is. 265-4331 is the number. We're back with our guest, Glenn Morris, in just a moment. Ventura TV Appliance Center. We're the save energy, save time, save money place. The Energy Star Qualified Ready Steam Equipped High Efficiency Frigidaire Affinity Place. You heard right. Right now, save big on select Frigidaire laundry pairs and pay no interest when paid in full within six months. At the hometown low price, think outside the big box place. Since 1951, Ventura TV Appliance Center. We're working hard to be your place. If you haven't seen that building down in Visalia, the Chamber of Commerce building, and you're having to pass through town, or maybe you live there and haven't been by, it really is a beautiful building. Uh, the Chamber was able to raise the money and build it for $1.5 million uh, quite a few years ago. Well, the Chamber turned around and sold that building last June to the city of Visalia for about a million bucks. And we'll talk to Glenn Morris now and find out how that's working out. Glenn, good to see you. Good morning. Nice to be here. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, thanks for driving all the way from Visalia, the South Valley. Hey, there was no fog on the roads today. It was a beautiful <laughs> drive. We love yeah. it. One of these days we'll take our show down there and I talk to some folks. I would love to host. That would be fun. Yeah. So 
What is going on in the city of Visalia right now, financially, from a financial standpoint? We all know about the building, it's gorgeous, uh, but financially, where do you stand? Well, the chamber's on a rebuilding pa uh, project right now. Um, you mentioned they built the building about six years ago. Um, and unfortunately, they, they raised m some of the money, but they didn't raise all of it. And so like most of us, uh, they took a mortgage on the rest of it. And yeah, about a, a year debt, ago, right? about a year ago, our board decided that it just wasn't, you know, the best use of our members' money to continue paying that loan off to the bank. Uh, we were able to find a buyer in the city and, and uh, become a tenant in that building, and that's given us the ability to really concentrate our resources on serving our members, uh, working for our businesses, and uh, we're starting to see some very positive results from that, both financially, uh, but, but even more importantly, kind of in our relationships with our members. Right, and you're talking about servicing your members. What, how do you do that? What is the role of the Chamber of Commerce? How do you serve your members? Well, there's a couple of things that we're looking to do specifically. Um, the last couple of years, we've really concentrated on education and trying to provide our members with workshops and seminars and programs that help them do their business better. Um, so if we can go out and find a best practice or a new idea that we can bring into the community that helps them, with efficiencies or cost recovery. Um, those are services that we can use, bring back that they may not be able to find on their own. Give me an example of what that might be. Well, for instance, last year we hosted uh, the Disney Institute. We brought Disney into the community and, and did a full day seminar on how they run their business. And uh, we had about 150 of our local businesses attend that. Uh, had some really good feedback on how they were able to take it back and use it in their employee relations, uh, in their customer service areas, um, and just some of their, you know, making sure that they're keeping true to their mission. All those yeah. things that you associate with Disney, uh, many of our businesses were able to take lessons from that and apply them to their own operation. So they can make more money, be more successful, spend That's more right. money in the community. That's obviously. right. Hire people. Hire people. Pay wages, all those things you want them to do. Right. Get more people on the payroll. And that's kind of the, the, right. the whole idea of that's business, right. right? That's right. So we do that. We also do a whole series. We call them our Lunch Bite series. They're free one to a month at lunchtime, you know, bring your lunch and, and join the chamber. <laughs> and a lot of those are, are we focus on technology kinds of things because, again, those are important to small business, social media. Oh, yeah. Um, how to use the web to find customers, you know, five, those kinds of five, things. You know, when that building was built, Glenn, social media didn't even exist. Really. Nobody knew. <laughs> you know, I mean, maybe Facebook did, but certainly not like today, not like Twitter and, That's right. and all the other social aspects to it, you know, with the, with the iPhones that everybody has. But getting back to Disney, uh, you brought Disney in last year. Uh, are there any? Give me, give me the, like the top two or three secrets that they that they preached in in business. Well, I think the two things that I remember from it um, is you know one staying kind of true to your core business. I think so often we. What does get that out mean? There. Well, I think a lot of times, and this is a lesson we learned at the chamber. I think a lot of times we, we get into things because we think they'll be helpful. For instance, you know, when we had when we owned the building, uh, we were a landlord. You know, part of that building we leased out to other people. Well, you know, that made us some money, but it distracted our staff. Kind of, you know, got in the way of what what's our core business for us. That in other was words, what your, what's your purpose? Serving members, yeah. exactly. Yeah. So. So really focusing on what your core business is. And then I think the biggest thing you learn from a Disney program is, is customer service. Customers, number one, right. they're the reason we do business. They're not an interruption when they call. Just that making sure that everybody has that focus uh, within the organization that, that, you know, better or worse, we all live in, and work specifically because we have customers. Right. We're talking to Glenn Morris. He's the president and the CEO of the Visalia Chamber of Commerce. And if you haven't been to Visalia uh, all that much, go there and visit the chamber. It sits right on the edge of the old downtown area. Sure. I want to roll some videotape here and we can take a look, uh, Glenn, at some of the downtown businesses. What kind of businesses are there in downtown Visalia? There's that beautiful sign. Yeah, kind of see. the welcome site to yeah. uh, the gateway to downtown. There's a great shot yeah. at Christmas time. We have a wonderful parade there, but you can see that's the eastern edge where we're kind of doing a lot of remodeling. A lot of antique, kind of some specialty boutique shops over in that area. You have some clothing shops as well. Yeah, this is the core of downtown. You just saw there a lot of jewelry and clothing shops, some high-end things. Newest building in downtown occupies about a half block, mixed offices. What building is that? Retail. Uh, it was built by the Manganos. We call it the oh. Promenade. 
Oh, um, oh that's the same that's building. The, okay. Yeah, it's all kind of that same one. It was designed to look like multiple buildings to kind of keep that mm. feeling of downtown. It's there on the edge. Crowd oh. is great restaurant. Um, uh, we had the opportunity to be part of the Amgen tour uh, a couple of different years over the last four or five years, and uh, those are the cyclists getting ready to run right through downtown Visalia. Yeah, and you have a, uh, obviously a lot of restaurants there on the marketplace. You know, uh, the one thing we don't lack for in Visalia is good food. We have great yeah. restaurants. I'm a yeah. product of them, unfortunately. Yeah, and uh, what building this we're looking at? This is the at transit there? center. It's owned okay. by the city. It's um, uh, the hub for all mass transit um, and public transit in the community. Uh, it actually sits right across the street from where we are uh, at the chamber, so um, easy access uh, for folks coming in. Right. Now, business. How is it doing? I, we all know what happened in 2008. Yeah. Uh, people are tight with their money. People were losing their homes, their jobs, their cars, their families, everything. What's it like now? You know, I said it's like a lot of communities, and, and we, we lost a lot of our businesses. But, but I think we we've maybe have weathered the storm a little better than a lot of communities it's a because we're fortunate in that the economy is fairly diversified in Visalia yeah. it was obviously the strong agricultural component right and they th that area has done well still people still want to buy food um, and so that's that's helped kind of shore us up a little bit um, but there's a growing segment in in terms of the um, health care community we're, we're becoming a much bigger um, regional player right, there with we the had hospital, Delta hospital right? family health care network is, right. has expanded a lot so there's a lot of jobs in our community didn't go Delta didn't they expand uh, they, they've been on a major expansion over the last several years and building a helipad right now next to their okay. emergency room to okay. um, improve access but um, you know, really across the board, our healthcare segment has has really grown in the last four or five years, and then there's this the the whole um, distribution logistics segment out there. We're fortunate to be located right in the middle of the state of California, um, right. and uh, a lot of folks that are trying to ship products to and from find being in the middle is a good place to be, yep. and so that's brought a number of jobs to us as well. So. Uh, overall, we're doing okay. We certainly have had our struggles, like many communities. But um, you know, for the most part, the businesses that stuck to their knitting and <laughs> you know didn't take crazy uh, risks have have gotten through, and and now maybe are starting to see the light at the end of the tunnel. All right, we're talking with Glenn Morris. He's the president and the CEO of the Visalia Chamber of Commerce. We're going to continue our conversation. Hey, if you want to join the conversation, the phone line is open. Uh, it's 265-4331. If you're looking for any employment opportunities in Visalia, we'll talk to Glenn about that and what's going on in that area. We're back in just a moment. Stay tuned. And now, the Alan Brady Show. Hi, I'm Alan Brady. You remember me from the Alan Brady Show? Yes, if Alan needs any help. Shut up, Mel. Yes, sir. Shut up, Mel. Shut up, Mel. Yes, sir. I had the best TV writers on my show. Rob Petrie. <laughs> Sally Rogers. Hey, I got it. Don't anybody move. And Buddy Sorrell. Well, well, how you moved, I forgot it. On the Dick Van Dyke Show here. Alan, if you're... Shut up, Mel. On MeTV. Weeknights at 9.30, 8.30 Central on MeTV. What's the matter with you? And the focus is on business today. We're talking with the Visalia Chamber of Commerce uh, Chief. He's the uh, president and the CEO. And Glenn, I want to talk to you about Visalia. You know, it has that little, it, downtown has got that, that old town flavor and feel to it, although there are some very new buildings there that have gone right. up. But what are some of the advantages of downtown Visalia versus, say, a Fresno or a Merced? Well, I'm sure that they like their downtowns, too, but we're very well, proud of our downtown. Have you been to downtown <laughs> Fresno lately? <laughs> yeah, Visalia is very proud of its downtown, and, and I think with, with good reason. They've, yeah. they've worked very hard for a long time to keep it as the core of the community and not allow... Um, you know some of those business activities to, to go away and, and really but those kind of businesses them. are so, locally owned and that right? one of the real advantages to our downtown is that a lot of that real estate is still owned by people who live in the community and so they're more inclined to reinvest and, and upgrade their buildings and um, you know work with local businesses so you get a lot of little boutique kind of shops down there give it a real nice flavor um, and then, you know, add to that the fact that the city council has, has been very involved in 
kind of protecting the downtown and making sure the city invests in it. Uh, they've stayed downtown. The hospital chose to stay downtown. Right. So right. there's a lot of energy and activity and people um, to support those businesses. Now, downtown, you were saying earlier, is going to expand or in the process of expanding. And right. the chamber uh, building, your chamber of commerce, is kind of right in the middle of that it's mix, right. right? We're in the middle of just updating our general plan for the community for the next 20 years. And uh, the, the vision is really to kind of expand the downtown toward the east. Okay. Um, and and the, the kind of the idea is as that grows out over the next 20 years, uh, the, the chamber will find itself kind of right in the middle of downtown instead of right at the edge of it. Let's see. We have a phone call here. Good morning. You're on Connect With Me. How are you? Good morning. I'm Good. Fine. Thank you. It was my pleasure to visit Visalia on Friday for the commencement of the San Joaquin Valley College. Uh, at a mega church out there on uh, Caldwell and Acres, huge crowd showed up for it. Uh, diverse crowd. Can you tell me, uh, San Joaquin Valley College, how is it contributing to uh, uh, em uh, employment promise for Visalia in the area? San Joaquin Valley College is a great success story for Visalia. Locally owned, owned by a family, um, uh, the Perry family in Visalia. The, their corporate headquarters are there. They now have, I believe it's 10 campuses all across the state of California. Um, but but they, they employ a lot of people in town and then educate a lot more. Um, a lot of those are, are going into the medical field that we talked about earlier. Um, and a lot of our other industries in town. And they, they do a fantastic job of preparing people to go into the workplace. And then they're just a good corporate partner. Right. They've been a great asset to the chamber. A lot of our nonprofits and charities have benefited because of their uh, the way they run their business down Now, that's San Joaquin Valley College, right? That's right. All right. Yeah. And you also have the College of the Sequoias there. College of the Sequoias is our flagship that's educational right. institution. That's a that's four a, year? It's a two year. It's a community two year, college. Two year community yep. college. Okay. It, it's a community college. And, you know, like a lot of state institutions, they've had to kind of pull back a little bit, but sure. they're now on an expansion plan. Just opened a new satellite campus out in Tulare. Um, that's a beautiful facility. They have a satellite campus in Hanford and then the home campus now, in Visalia. Isn't part of your job as the head of the chamber is to promote the city of Visalia, to talk about all the positives and what are going, what's going on in that city in terms of education, employment, right. business? Is that right? Am I right? Oh, absolutely. Is uh, that what you're kind of yeah. doing here that's today? That's what we're doing here today. And it's a, <laughs> that's the fun part of the job is right. I get to go around and tell people about you know the things that originally drew my family to the community and and yeah. have, and have helped uh, uh, convince us to stay in, in the area. We're not natives to to Visalia, but I want to chosen to raise a family. I want to ask you about, reasons. Yeah, uh, good idea. Um, employment opportunities. A lot of people may want to know what the employment opportunities are in in a small town like Visalia, right. much much smaller than Fresno. Right. So where are the um, jobs? Well, the jobs are, are in, in a number of different areas. Again, the healthcare industry is one that, okay. that continues to grow. Um, the, the private education, um, you know, because we don't have a four-year state institution like Fresno State right. or Cal Poly, um, the, the private economy, Fresno Pacific has a nice presence down there now. Uh, Brandman University. What about of the Phoenix. city? Are they hiring? Uh, no, the city's still kind of trying to balance their budget, and, and yeah. they do that, but that they do that by not adding people a lot, real rapidly. Right. Um, Smart. <laughs> a number of our manufacturers are, are are adding jobs now. A number of our distribution centers, such as um, we just opened a new facility uh, in in the industrial park. A company called VWR. They support science. Um, companies and laboratories and and so they've just hired a couple hundred people um, you know the the real the the, the 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 interesting thing is what that you find is most of those jobs don't end up in the newspaper you don't find them in the help wanted ad anymore yeah um, a lot yeah. of those uh, you, you know now work through the placement companies what, what, you know we used to call the temp agencies but now are really kind of the gateway to employment and that's where a, a lot of folks get jobs any openings at the chamber? Probably not at this time. We're always looking for good talent if we could find yeah. a good way to place them. Well, but, what kind of uh, what kind of yeah. opportunities would the chamber have if anybody in our audience is out there looking for employment? What kind of uh, opportunities would the chamber have? Something in marketing? Oh, uh, we're always looking for people or? that want to help in sales and you know yeah. help us get our word out to our you know to the other businesses that haven't right. joined yet and. 
um, you know, do that outreach kind of thing. Well, you have, what, five people on staff now? I have now? a team of five right at the moment, yeah. Right. So. All right, we're going to come back and talk with Glenn Morris. He's the president and the CEO of the Visalia Chamber of Commerce. Still a lot to talk about. The Fox Theater. We'll talk about their baseball team. We'll talk about life in general, uh, living in Visalia. We're back. 265-4331 is the number. Ventura TV Appliance Center. We're the low price leading brands reliable advice place. The Whirlpool Dream Kitchen Get Yours Today Place. Check this out. Right now get huge savings on select Whirlpool appliances and pay no interest when paid in full within six months. At the hometown low price think outside the big box place. Since 1951 Ventura TV Appliance Center. We're working hard to be your place. And the focus uh, point uh, today, of course, is on business, and we're talking about the business in Visalia. Business, lifestyle, education, health care, all that stuff. Glenn Morris from the uh, Chamber of Commerce, of course, is here. I want to turn you around, Glenn, and talk yeah. about the Fox Theater. You can tell us all about it here as we take a look at some gorgeous photos. It'll be 83 years old next, next month. Next month, that's yeah. right. Yeah, the Fox, right the, the heart of our downtown, sits right in the middle of Main Street. Um, great community asset. Uh, the community came together a number of years ago and did a big renovation. It's a beautiful facility. City Council last night coincidentally just approved um, an application to have the building listed on the National Historic Register. So That's an old uh, photo right there. Great iconic that. symbol of our yeah. community and, and uh, they do lots of, uh, of uh, musical events there, a lot of community events. It's a great gathering place for yeah. us in the town town. Yeah, built back in 1930. And so that when did the renovation take place? Uh, probably about 10 years ago they did that. Yeah. yeah and really kind of spruced up the interior and cleaned it up and made uh -huh. it a place that that you want to go to again. Yeah, and yeah. do they fill it up for these events? They do, yeah. They, they it's really? about 1,200 or so uh, folks. And... and um, you know, they bring in the acts, and, and people really do support it. The symphony plays there. Um, mm -hmm. They're selling out on a fairly regular basis How now. about the acoustics? They're pretty good. Oh, yeah. Not bad. Wonderful. Yeah, yeah. love to go to the symphony. Yeah, of course, built in 1930. I guess they did things right back That's then. That's right. They seem <laughs> to have a, a knack for it, you know. <laughs> Let me ask you about something that might be on the minds of somebody who might want to move to Visalia. How is the, the crime in Visalia? Uh, compared to, say, a Fresno. Of course, there's a lot of crime everywhere. Sure. You can't avoid yeah. it. I don't care where you live, but what's what's the ratio of crime in, in, in Visalia? Well, one of the things that Visalia did, um, well, in fact, we were just were at the council, city council last night talking about um, th this very issue. Mm -hmm. uh, about eight years ago, the community came together. We were the first community in California that did a sales tax override specifically for public safety. We called it Measure T. Uh, in Visalia, and it added a quarter cent to our sales tax. And how much money did that and raise? And that's raised, uh, I, I don't remember the actual figures, but it's added, uh, I think it's 23 police officers to our force specifically through that, 15 firefighters. Uh, we've built two police stations and a couple of fire stations in that eight years. Um, the council last night just reauthorized it for another eight years to continue. Uh, what that's allowed us to do uh, on a public safety side standpoint is to have teams of officers specifically working on the gang problems or on the narcotics problems or, yeah. you know, to, to be able to really get those specialized officers that, that are able to, you're not going to eliminate those kinds of issues, I but to get them under control. Yeah, yeah. Or have you yeah, had, had, has be a more proactive about attacking the problem rather than just reacting to the results. Ha has the police department made a dent in those areas they in really terms have. of gangs they, and, they and they drugs? They really have, yeah. I, you know, I would say the average person in Visalia can, can go about their daily life and not really be impacted. You know, you're not going to notice it every day. We don't have, you know, the daily murder or the daily right. you know, kind of major crimes. They occur, but it's much less than it was six or seven years ago before we were able to add, you know, those extra resources. And, and people were happy to do it. They put it, got on a ballot and they said, okay, Thank yeah. goodness for some leaders that had some vision early on to say we need to get ahead of this and we need to, 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 to find some funding that we can count on. Uh, and it's allowed us to be, you know, s successful. Let's see if we can take, take another f call here. Good morning, you're on Connect With Me. How are you? Hi there. I uh, saw the bid on the Fox Theater. I thought that's great. It's a neat, neat building. If I wanted to start a new business in Visalia or in the area, who would I go to? Who's going to lend me a hand? Who's going to help me get 
uh, toehold in the Visalia area. Can you help me with that? What bank is going to loan the money? Yeah. <laughs> um, well, there's a couple of different places you want to come. First of all, the good news is if you just come to our building, if you come to the chamber, not only you know can you take advantage of the services that we'll help them with, in terms of pointing them to the right kinds of you know places to do the permits and all of those kinds of things, uh, but we have a partnership with the Small Business Development Center, uh, and their staff are in our building as well. So it's a one-stop shop there. Uh, they do a lot of the training of new businesses. Really, uh, try to help them review their business plans and get them ready to present to a lender. Um, they have a lot of expertise in that area. And, and so it's a great you, resource to just have right down the hall from us. Would you encourage someone to start a business in Visalia right now? Would that be profitable? You know, it, it really would. would it be a losing you know, battle? There, there's a lot of opportunity there. Visalia, even though it is a smaller community, we're about 126,000 people mm -hmm. in the community. Uh, but, you know, because of where we're located, we're really kind of a regional hub for you know, Tulare, uh, right. Kings, maybe a little bit of South Fresno, North Kern right. County. So the market trade area is about a half million people. So there's a real opportunity there for folks to come in. Uh, you know, we have the Macy's and the Costco's that draw them in. Yeah. And then while they're there, they discover all of our small businesses and, and take advantage of those as well. Let me ask you real quick something, and I want to get on to some more video here. When we think of I say we think of Mooney Boulevard. That's right. what everybody thinks. And then you go to Mooney Boulevard and nothing but a strip malls on each side. So that's really not a good representation of what Visalia is all about. Am I right? Well, what you find is that there's two very distinct markets. There's the downtown, which is those yeah. kind of eclectic, kind of two different kind of places. Two different Visalias, right? And then you've got Mooney <laughs> Boulevard, which is all the big nationals and the yeah. and Macy's Costco. and Costco's. I know. And, I know. and all of those yeah. that, that we want in the community just as much. <laughs> <laughs> Go to the videotape. Uh, you know, a lot of people don't know that Visalia has a baseball team and a stadium. That's Look at right. That. Rawhide is the, the name of the baseball team. Recreation Park's the stadium there. Right. Single um, A. Single A. It's a small park, um, but they've really done a good job remodeling it to make it a <laughs> wonderful experience. Uh, you can get right close and personal with the game. Uh, it's a wonderful place for family. They built this lawn area out there where you know kids can come out and play and oh, kind of run around. Look. That's actually an event we ran uh, on the field at our Oktoberfest we did there one year. Uh, that was a fun promotion they did. Dropped candy for the kids to come out and and chase down. And there so, are some of the team members there of the Raw High. The Raw High, and yeah. And affiliation is um, with what team? They're with uh, the Diamondbacks. Okay. Uh, great relationship there. They've just extended that contract for another couple of years. Uh, the owner of the Rawhide, um, uh, Tom Seidler, uh, is part of the family that just bought the uh, the San Diego Padres. So great baseball traditions. There. Yeah, of course that's my rival. I'm a Giants fan, yeah, but that's okay. Yeah. Hey, talk about your mayor there. Uh, she's Amy? Kinda, yeah, she's kind of a character, she's huh? A, she's a great. Yeah, she's a great character. <laughs> Amy Shucklin is the mayor that right, right now. Right, right. For uh, how long? She, she she's been mayor about a year, so she's got about a year left on on this current rotation. She gonna um, run again? I, I would imagine she, her term of office will come up um, the end of this year. Do you like her? Is she good for Visalia? She, you know, Vi Amy's been really good at listening. We don't agree on everything. Um, I don't think you can do that with any politician. Yeah. But at least she'll give you a fair hearing, and I think that's all I can ask from what I said. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, she's been there for a while, and she's a good promoter of the city. She is. She, she loves the to, city. Yeah. She's a lifelong resident and right. and truly has a passion for the community. Right, and that's a good place to start a relationship. She's not just a ceremonial type mayor. She gets she gets she, her, gets she rolls her and sleeves right. up and gets her hands and dirty. We have a right? tradition of that in Visalia. The right. last, you know, all the mayors that I've worked with, Bob Link, um, Jesus Gamboa, all the mayors, they, they really do get involved. They're, it's a part-time thing. They're not paid, to, you know, to do that. Like our it's mayor not a, here. It's not a strong mayor. <laughs> yeah. Uh, they're just the head of the council. Right. Um, but they all get involved and get out and. Are there egos involved like there are here sometimes? Oh, I'm sure there are always egos. Anytime <laughs> you get more than two people in a room, right? <laughs> Glenn Morris, it's good to see you, and Glenn continued pleasure. success over thank at the Chamber of Commerce. I'll come by and see you sometime there and well, visit. Welcome and, having you. All right. Thank you for being here. I appreciate it very much. And tomorrow we're going to continue our show of course uh, tomorrow we are going to have a member of the fresno monsters hockey team right in our studio right here he's a coach we'll talk to him about hockey because you know the nhl they were locked out so no professional hockey other than here in fresno we hope you have a good day we'll see you back here on connect with me on meet tv fresno tomorrow